Uh, preparation for the PSAC meet has really been a, a cumulative thing throughout the season, obviously. Um, we don't reduce any volume or anything too much until essentially the week of or maybe about 10 days out. Uh, we'll start to cut back a little bit and get them excited. Um, so really the preparation is just psychologically getting them there, getting them excited and healthy. Um, as, as far as kind of how we work into it, um, you can't you can't you can't do anything but overdo it I'd say leading into a championship race and so it's better to be one percent under than one percent overtrained and so I, I just want to have them be excited about um, being tough because it's going to be wet yeah um, really uh, nothing specifically changes as far as the type of work uh, more so the reduction in volume but maybe a little bit of increase in intensity and so that'd probably be the main focal point is a little bit of increase in intensity volume cuts back just a hair um, on their hard sessions so yeah so on, on the women's side we get one back and then one of our other ones is dealing with some sickness so she probably won't be there um, and then on the men's side uh, we're uncertain a little bit but I am going to uh, unredshirt a couple of freshman boys and I think they'll be ready to contribute so that'll be exciting for them. Well, the tradition is super, super rich here and so I want to carry that out and have it continue. Uh, I, I don't look at, look at the conference meet as just like a step, you know, I look at it as a, a goal for the team. I mean, as a team at the beginning of the year, both men and women, our, our goal is to win it, obviously. Is it going to require hard work and a good focus that day? Absolutely. Um, the women, you know, they, they finally were able to get back and win it last year. Or the men, uh, it's been a little bit since we've won the PSAC. And so it, it'd be nice to get them a little excited and get them back to where um, they would prefer to be. But it'll come with a challenge. Yeah, at, at this point in season, uh, it starts to get a little more individualized. Uh, obviously, if you're next to your teammate, I want you to work with them. But uh, as far as race plans, I'll be a little more individual as far as playing into certain kids' strengths and where they can move or where they need to wait and then uh, make a move. And so uh, be much more individualized. Yeah, um, I'd say on the, on the women's side, you know, Stephanie, she, she's been looking in great form. Um, hope she was out at pre-nationals but I expect her to you know be a solid competitor there and then um, I, I also think Abby Lang she, she's been contributing really well and taken to training great and so I'd expect her to be up there as well um, our, our four five six you know I, I fully expect that they're ready to kind of pick up like they did at pre-nationals and really fill some shoes that are needed to be filled and so I, I have faith in them for that. Um, on the men's side, like I said, I, I, we may be missing uh, Brian Gear again and so um, we have to fill some shoes and so like I said, I'm, I'm unredshirting a couple of freshman boys and uh, I think that they'll be able to pick up the slack but I also really believe that our men's side, we have a, we have a solid like three or four, you know, like that can be really close to each other. Um, I think our five, six, set, they're not far behind. And so uh, I just cumulatively believe our, uh, our team as a whole on the men's side is, is strong from top to bottom. And just, uh, it, it, it's exciting mm -hmm. to have a team, you know. You never know. Uh, it, of course, you have your teams that are always going to be there. You know, like your ship's always going to be there, right? Um, but as far as the course conditions, it's, I mean, it's raining today. It's going to be raining a couple more inches over the next week. So the course is going to be really muddy and soft. So that plays into a lot of other schools' favor because it's not about being the fastest one. It's about those that are tough and willing to work much harder when they're uncomfortable. And so it makes it more of an even keeled race. And so to me, that makes it more exciting because um, it makes a really good team battle. And so, uh, who knows? Uh, I think that I like to think of our team as being tough. Um, when, it, when it gets really tough, that's a matter of are they psychologically ready to 
uh, be uncomfortable for maybe an extra K or an extra mile or so, where usually it doesn't get hard to the last. So, you know, uh, yeah, I, I think that it's conductive to us. I'd like to. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't put a ton of emphasis on kids trying to be fast at the beginning of the year because mm -hmm. it in all reality, it doesn't really matter how fast you are at the beginning of the year. It's about doing it when it matters. And so um, the kids are, like I said, they're taking to training really well. And um, they're just, it's coming together when it needs to. And so that's just a product of doing things the right way.